Moisturizer. Hey, what's up? How are you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Sterizer. Pictures Slideshow channel updates of the river. And in today's episode, we are starting at Lindy West's house where we found Andy Lee telling his mother that he's so proud of her that she's making an effort with the shoppers. When Lindy was telling Andy Lee that she's only doing this for him, Enzo, as well as Zanotando, and even Veronica, Andy Lee told his mother that he really appreciates that. After all they've been through this year, he sees that this is something to do. Do, despite everything that has strengthened their relationship Andy Le teased his mother when he was saying even after the Makosi saga they both laughed telling each other that it's family after everything and moving to Cobra Tuso Mukwena's house the Mukwenas were having a breakfast when they were all laughing at Morena's joke when Cobra came to join them and Cobra was in the good mood while he was greeting all of them asking them what is a joke because he also want to laugh when everybody was laughing when Morena was telling his father that that he was just telling them how weird it is to feel a baby move in poppy's belly cobra told his son that maybe they're having siako lisi or a strong footballer with the likes of ronaldo cobra told his family that he knows that it's been a awkward for them to be around him so the truth is that he felt so ashamed and guilty about all that happened he said he have seen that he cannot just sit and dwell on self-pity he must get up and go back to being the mukwepa they know the Mukwena family told Cobra that they understand that he's been through a lot. Kimbo told her brother that he must remember that they'll never desert him. He's their black sheep and they love him just the way he is. Moving to the Oracle Hotel, Lindiwa was having a meal with Kwezi at a restaurant. When Kwezi was telling Lindiwa that Zano is such a happy baby to think that she felt like that she'd be a terrible mother. But she's just made everything so easy for her even after this terrible ordeal. Her poor baby's just been nothing but fast free. Kwezi continued saying that it's been great that something so life-threatening didn't steal their baby and it is such a miracle. And the way Lindy Wei was looking at Kwezi it was so weird and Lindy wasn't responding so much to Kwezi except saying that mm. Kwezi was telling Lindy Wei that it went well and Lindy Wei kept staring at Kwezi without smiling and Kwezi continued saying that she felt like she wouldn't be able to survive without Zan and Zolani but the way Lindy Wei was looking at Kwezi she kept staring at her while she was talking without saying a word even when Kwezi was trying to smile Lindy Wei did not smile and moving back to Mokwena's house when the Mokwenas were still having a joke about the socks that they say they were smelling bad and while they were still talking about Morena's baby mom Zotwa barged into a house telling them that she's not staying but she only want to tell them that she's not here to fight but she only only wanted them to know that she wants to tell them one thing that her grandson Tato will grow up in KZN. Dimpo was so surprised asking her if she's serious about that. Zotwa told Tuso that he's the one who called her from KZN asking her to come here but what Tuso must know is that the only thing he did is to destroy her children when she was telling him about Lindani that Lindani is dead today because Tumi drove a wedge between the siblings. Polina is dead because Cobra forced her into a polygamous marriage together with the witch called Angelina so she doesn't want to lose another family member she's taking to KZN. She can't let him grow into this dark cloud that hangs over the Mukwenas. Cobra told Rahadi to speak to Zodwa and Zodwa was sitting while Rahadi told Dimpo to make some tea and going to Bukosi Shope's house Lindy Wei came with A4 envelopes telling them that she brought them some gifts. So she handed over those envelopes to each one of them while she was telling them that they will get 7% of Kanyisa Diamond shares and since Zanotando is the family's favorite she will get 15% but they were so surprised and shocked when they saw that Lindy Wei brought them their pictures while they were at the lodge in Pumalanga spending her money. Each one of them saw those pictures in shock while Lindy Wei asking them where were they went to. Was it in Pumalanga or Atlanta? And at that moment Lindy Wei pointed the gun with a silencer at Ganiso and shot him. And Ganiso fell while Numafu and Kwezi were crying for Ganiso. And moving to Cobra Tuso Mukwena's house, Dimpo was telling the family that the baby is not going anywhere. Tato is the 
family. While Morena agree with what Dimpo was saying. When Morena and Dimpo were both saying that Zodwa wants to dictate them, to control them, they have to go to court. And at that time, Cobra and Rakhadi were quiet. When Bonolo was trying to tell Dimpo that Zodwa is still a family member, Dimpo was so annoyed, saying that the child won't even know his own language, saying that Polina and Lindani practically raised themselves. There was an argument between Bonolo, who was trying to tell Morena and Dimpo about Zotwa's side, that the poor woman found out that her daughter has been killed. Maybe she is actually trying to hold on on the last thing that is connecting her to Polina. But Dimpo and Morena didn't listen. When Morena and Dimpo were so angry about this, they argued up until Cobra stopped them and telling all of them that Zotwa is Tato's grandmother. He doesn't see a problem with Tato going to live in KZN. At least KZN is a quiet place that doesn't have all these scandals that are happening in Refilu. Dimpo and Morena thought that Cobra is losing the plot. Cobra told all of them that Tato is going to live in KZN. Where is mother buried? Going back to Bukosi Shope's house, Kwezi and Nomaf were still crying for Nganiso while Bukosi Shope was standing silently. Kwezi was trying to apologize to Lindy were telling her that she did this for Zanotando. Lindy Wei was angry, telling Kwezi to shut up, calling her a tramp, telling Kwezi to stop calling Zanotando's name. Kwezi and Nomaf were trying to apologize to Lindy Wei, saying they know they were wrong. They were asking for forgiveness. And Lindy Wei pulled out a gun again and shot Kwezi. Nomaf was crying over Kwezi too. Both Kwezi and Kanyiso got shot by Lindy Wei. And Bukosi Shope was standing angry and quiet without saying a word. Back to Tuso Mukwena's house. Rahadi was telling Cobra that she is so proud of him, but she is hurting like this. She was telling Cobra that she knows that he must be feeling worse about this situation. Cobra told Rahadi that he must make sure that he makes Paulina proud to see that Tato will be growing at the good home, at her mother's home. Cobra told Rahadi that he's got no doubt that Zotwa she will take good care of him. Back to Bukosi Shopper's house, Nomafu was crying over her kids, Kwezi and Kanyiso, screaming at them, telling them both to wake up, begging Lindywe, asking for forgiveness. Lindywe told Nomafu that the only problem is that she thought Lindywe is her friend. Lindywe told Nomafu that she is not her friend and she doesn't have a gold tooth, calling Nomafu a tramp, a tramp with a gold tooth. And then Lindywe shot Nomafu and Nomafu fell on her kids too and the blood of three people was flowing to the swimming pool. And Bukosi started looking at Lindywe when Lindywe was saying that she is saving the best for life. Bukosi Shope didn't say anything when Lindy was telling him dying of a broken heart having seen his entire family dying in front of him. And then Lindy was shot Bukosi Shope and Bukosi Shope fell. While Bukosi Shope was falling, he told Lindy where if this is how she avenged herself, so be it. He is ready to go. And then Bukosi Shope fell down on the floor. And then the Congo guy entered Bukosi Shope's house and he was sneaking through the steps. So moving back to Cobra Tuso Mukwena's house, we see the Mukwena's saying goodbye to Tato when Zotwa came to take him when the Mukwenas were telling Tato that they will visit him and Cobra was telling his son that he loved him now he have to go with Granny telling him that he know that he will be speaking Zulu that side but he mustn't forget that he's a Mukwena and he mustn't forget that he's a Tswana. Cobra gave the baby to Mam Zotwa and Mam Zotwa tell them thank you and she said goodbye to them while she was getting inside the car and Timpo told Tato that he must come to her wedding because she's gonna get married. And Timpo was saying that without knowing that her fiance or husband to be just got shot by Lindy a few minutes ago. Everybody was saying goodbye to Tato and Mam Zotwa, wishing them a safe journey when the car went out. And going back to Bukosi Shope's house, that guy from Congo was still going inside Bukosi Shope's house and he was holding a gun while he was walking through and he was going towards Lindy Wei when he was sneaking behind Lindy Wei's back pointing a gun at her asking Lindy Wei what the hell is this telling Lindy Wei that she brought him all the way from Congo to South Africa only to rob him of his revenge when he was still pointing a gun at Lindy Wei Bangizwe came on the 
other side, pointing a gun at him, and Mangizwe shot the guy. And then Mangizwe told Lindiwe that they need to take all these photos. And Lindiwe took the gun that she used to kill the shoppers into the guy from Congo's hand for fingerprints to frame him as if he was the one who shot the shoppers as he had grudge with shopper. Mangizwe told Lindiwe they need to go and look for the cameras. So they went inside to check the cameras everywhere. And thank you for watching guys and enjoy your weekend. Let's see what's going to happen up next on our next episode on Monday. Thank you for watching Sterizer TV teasers and please subscribe and hit the bell to be always updated about the latest TV updates.